Hi, I'm Dylan, and you're listening to the Animals at Home podcast. So if there was if there was one thing that you wish you knew before going into zookeeping, do you know what that would be? Yeah, I actually, you know, I had this, so you go to the zoo and you go look at each one of the animals that you like. I kind of walked in thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to pick every animal that I get to take care of and they all have whatever I don't want. And that was uh, wrong. So I had like 50 Doomrolls boas in my section. These were like, I'm going to bite your face off, yeah. Doomrolls boas. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I felt like many other people, I look to YouTube for tutorials and stuff that I don't know. But I found, uh, I found a lack of uh, videos for the person who has one snake or two snakes or for the beginner. Like I've seen all these crazy videos where like there's a big strong guy and he lifts out, you know, like a snake that weighs, I don't know, 50 pounds and he has hundreds of them in racks and he's just like, this is crazy. Yeah. But there was nothing like with a person who just sat down and was like, well, if you want one ball python, do this. Uh, and it was very intimidating going on YouTube because you sit there and it's just you and the camera and I spent the first hour just staring into the camera, yeah. not talking because I just couldn't, I didn't know what to say, you know what I mean? Yes. Well, yeah, it is It is very strict to keep, keep reptiles, like you're only allowed to have one in your possession and if you have any more than one then you have to have a, uh, a license. I've managed to get my frill neck specialist keepers permit and my green tree python and um, you know, so I can keep pretty well anything now. but. Yeah, there's there's quite a large process you need to go into to getting those those licenses. You need to have referees and kind of rock, do big reports on how you're going to keep the reptile and high rise building. And one of the levels they just had this cafe and uh, we walked in and paid our fee and so they sat us down in, in a in a chair and yeah, but pretty much and then you just say which reptile you want to hold and why you're sitting there drinking or eating or whatever you get to hold whatever reptile you want of choice, which. I know that they, they shouldn't be held all day, so it was pretty hard as well for me to go, oh sweet, so this chameleon gets me to hold onto it for five minutes and then put back in its enclosure, then pulled straight back out for another person to hold. And reptiles like those chameleons in there would uh, copper beating in regards to people holding them all day, so. The full podcast episodes are coming soon and they will be released on iTunes, Stitcher, as well as YouTube. If you are as excited as I am to listen to these episodes, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss when they are released. And for those of you that want to show your support by going the extra mile, sharing this video goes an extremely long way. I'll talk to you soon.